this next lady is one of the world's most desired women. <sighs> she spends her nights most of the time with uh, rocker Rick Ocasek, uh, but tonight we've got her right here on the couch. Please welcome Paulina. her husband and now you see her here is there anything in the refrigerator at the house <laughs> oh, gosh yes of course i mean actually we we um we we are garbage cans we eat absolutely everything really yes yes do you work out a lot no no that's really boring Ooh, it makes me so I'm, really, I'm, I'm really sorry no i i uh I, I find physical exercise a sort of a waste of time really i mean i'd much rather that that kind of physical exercise <laughs> So you're trying to say that you can lose calories making love? I mean, no. I, uh, I actually, should... no, that's great for your skin. Uh, calories, you don't lose too many by doing that. Wait, 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 wait. It, it's been, I, wait. I so, think it I, on... I've had a little bump on my head. You can't see it, but uh, they covered it up. Maybe that's my problem. I've had a thing, an acne thing coming on my you head. You haven't had enough? <laughs> Obviously not. Uh, Sex is good for your skin? Yes, yes. It's very good for your skin. Well, I got to get busy. <laughs> <laughs> I really have had a little. You, you can see it because you can see that little thing there. All week. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, no. I can't mm -hmm. really see. You, you have beautiful skin. I, I said that on the last show, didn't I? You, you really do have beautiful skin. But you can skin. say nice things to I me anytime you want. I would have expected that you know that you did it a lot more often than, than you <laughs> seem to do. Yeah, everybody does. But, well. but uh, <laughs> my life is very lonely. Oh, oh gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I have girlfriends. Uh, uh, huh? I was going to ask you if you hang out with supermodels and whether I could come along next time. Uh, <laughs> do I models think, hang out? Actually, I think you might know them better than I do. Uh, oh. Models, uh... <laughs> oh. Hey, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. She just read me. Just... <laughs> yeah, but it went right over my head as well. Um, do you... Uh, I have a few friends that are models, and uh, my very best friend, the, the co-author of the book that, that we work together on, is a model as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, sure, there's, you know, nice people in every way of life, uh, career. Yeah. Interesting, um, huh? I should, I should show them yes, the book. Yes, please, please. Um, this is what her book looks like, so you didn't know she had a book, did you? Well, it's not just mine. It's... Uh, me and my best girlfriend, Joanne Russell. And that's what's really interesting. And this, and it's illustrated by my stepson, Adam Okasik. Yeah. Yeah, the 22-year-old stepson. The interesting thing about this book is, um, it's called The Adventures of Ralphie the Roach. And I'm thinking, why not Margot the Maggot? Why, why roaches? <laughs> why, you know, why did you choose roach? Why did we choose roach? Actually, I'm not the one who came up with the roach. Mm -hmm. You see, my girlfriend, Joanne, is the one who, uh, she came over one evening and she said, you know, I have this great idea. We, because we were working on a, writing a script together and we didn't really realize how difficult it was to write a script. Mm. Um, and we got a writer's block and then she sort of said, uh, why don't we, you know, work on something else for a while? Why don't we write a children's story? And I said, you know, great. And she says, I have this great idea. How about a cockroach? Now, this is from a woman who gave me a freeze-dried bat for Christmas. Ah. No, I'm sorry. It's my bir it was my birthday. Yeah. So she's very fond of bugs. She has them sort of pinned up in her house, you know, on the wall, sort of like art. And uh, she picks roaches up and carries them around. You know, look, look, isn't it cute? I am deathly afraid of roaches. Uh, you know, I used to be too, and it's really interesting because once we got into it, um, we, we did a little research on them, you mm. know, National Geographic and all that. Mm. And we found out that, because some really interesting things about roaches, and, uh, you know, they can live without water for three months. They, they eat anything. They, they will eat um, um, paper, toothpaste, nail clippings, you know, like, they're virtually anything. And they're virtually indestructible, as we all know. Hmm. And... Um, oh, yeah, they do say if there was, like, a nuclear attack or something, yeah, the roaches. roaches and Reagan would survive, uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, that, 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 that's always been interesting to me. 
I, I guess what you're saying is roaches are misunderstood. Well, I think roaches haven't had their proper place. Uh -huh. in, in, and especially in modern literature, because if you think about it, uh, there has been books written about rats, mice, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, oh, yeah. ants, bees. I mean, you name it, it's been written about. Cockroaches have been sadly neglected in mm -hmm. literature, and I'm here to correct it. <laughs> you know, but I didn't think about that. Kids love the turtles. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and they are teenage and mutant. See, this is going to change culture as we know it. Our kids will read stuff like this, and when we pick up a can of Ray, they'll be, oh, Daddy, Mommy, don't, don't get around me. Yeah. Well, we'll come back and talk more about this, because there's a character in here based on you, right? Well, one that I identify with. <laughs> I, I wouldn't exactly say it's based on me. Oh, man. If I saw a roach that looked like you, I'd never leave the roach motel. <laughs> never. We'll be right back. <laughs> 